Hello all my Merry Makers and welcome to another Merry Making Monday. My name is Becca. I'm going to apologize for the sound of the fan in the background. My air conditioner is on. It's summer. What do you, you know, what you gonna do? Um, so what are Merry Making Mondays? Merry Making Mondays are me walking you through teaching you, maybe helping you with a project. Um, usually it's knit or crochet related. This week is no different. We're continuing, continuing in the oolong tea shawl. Um, I'm trying to do it on pace with you guys. Uh, about 15 minutes a session. Um, I was thinking about this the other day and I realized that sooner rather than later one row is going to take us longer than 15 minutes. So you guys got to let me know what you would like to do when that situation occurs. Uh, I don't think that will happen today, um, but it will happen sooner rather than later. So I do want to get that addressed so that I know how to format my videos going forward. So we'll see how far we get today. And without further ado, let's get to the, oh, uh, I almost forgot. Oolong Tea Shawl is not my pattern. It is a t pattern by Red Teapot Atle, I believe is how you say their last name. And I will definitely put a link like I did last time. I will also add it to the playlist that I have started. All right, I think that's it. Let's get started. All right, last time we had left off, we had left off on row four. So that's where we're starting today. Uh, just as a recap, this is a cotton skein, very similar to the ones you get from Hobie. And I am using a four millimeter hook. All right, so row four, we start out with a chain four. I'm gonna change my angle ever so slightly and, and tighten up just a smidgen. Too much of a smidgen. Let's go back out. Sorry. All right, we start with a chain four, which is going to be our, which counts as a triple crochet. So one, two, three, four. All right. Then we do two double crochets into that first stitch. Now, if you remember the last stitch or the last row there was a chain in between each stitch so even though this looks like the first stitch that's not the first stitch there we go so one double crochet why am I having so much troubles with this? Right, two double crochet. There's a knot in the yarn. I don't know if you can see it, but that's why I'm struggling there for a second. All right. And then one double crochet into each space, including the chain one space. Must be caught careful about what I hum. I don't want to get hit with copyrights. So this yarn and this crochet hook are not jiving well together. I might change hooks, y'all. I'm not going to change the size, but I might change from a bevel to an inline. Um, and if you don't know the difference, uh, Miss Crystal from Bagoday Crochet 
has a whole video on the difference between beveled and inline. And yeah, guys, give me just one minute. I'm going to pause and come back with a different crochet hook. Alright. Let's see if we don't have a little bit better luck with this crochet hook. And remember, we're double crocheting into each stitch, including the chains. I'm doing much better with this hook. And that just goes to show you, sometimes if you're struggling, you know, before you change hook size, just if you have multiple sets of crochet hooks, change out your hook to same size, just a different type. Alright. I'm getting to the middle. Alright. Once we get to the middle, we're going to do something and it says until we get to the middle. Alright, so now we do two double crochets. Chain two. Two double crochets. And then we continue with, and that's all in the chain two space. So you have a total of four double crochets with a chain two in between them in that middle space. And now we go back to one double crochet per stitch per chain. Um, I think I'm going to be ending up giving this shawl to my sister. She saw the purple shawl that I had made for my mother, <laughs> and she wanted it. Um, the, the ladies in my world like purple. What can I say? But don't tell her. Shh. Alright, so this is the last regular post and then you know there's a even though it's hard to see we know there's a chain there and even though we changed hooks this still might be a little bit fiddly to get the hook through both loops alright and then of course we know the last one is really, um, you put two, two double crochets plus the triple crochet into this, the next stitch, or the next chain. So, there's one double crochet, there's two double crochet in that chain topmost chain and then one one two a triple crochet and that's the end of round four ah. all right or 
All right, row five, chain four. One, two, three, four. I know what you're set gonna say. Does every line start with a chain four? And the answer is no. Um, some of them are a chain five. <laughs> so, uh, so that for two double crochet into that first stitch. One. Two. All right. And then one front post double crochet into each stitch. So, in case you don't know how to do a front post double crochet, I'm going to go over it slowly. So, you wrap your yarn around your needle like you would for a regular double crochet, and then you you go you're going around the post. So, I'm going in from the front, so that's what makes it a front post. Let me show you again. Wrap it around, going around the post from the front, grabbing the yarn, and then complete it like a regular double crochet. We're doing every post. Until we get to the middle. I'm going to go ahead and pause and come back. I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but we're going to have to do that anyway, I think. So, sorry. Okay, so we have reached what the pattern calls the chain two middle space. And as you can see, I've done a front post double crochet on every stitch. And we're about to put our stitches into the chain two middle space. And the instructions are to do two double crochets. Into that chain space. chain two and then do two double crochets again into that same chain space and then we go back to doing front post double crochets around each one except for this very last one that I've got my finger on. Okay? See you there. Alright, I've reached the end of my work. You can see that I've done a front post double crochet around each post, except for the last one. And in the last one, I am going to do two double crochets and a triple crochet. Trying my best to get that hook underneath both those loops. Usually the first one is the hardest. Gotta prove me wrong, don't you yarn? Our triple crochet. All right, where's our? All right, so end of row five. On to row six. All right, and let's see. Oh, really? Okay, just reading the pattern here real quick. So. Chain four, one, two, three, four. I always chain before I turn. It's a preference thing. Two double crochets into that first chain 
our first stitch. And then we are going to put a single crochet into each crochet into the top of each one of these until the middle space. So I'll meet you at the middle space. All right. So we've reached the center of the shawl, and I know because I've got that chain two space, and we're gonna do what we have been doing. Now, we won't do this in the center every time, uh, so don't get in the habit of getting ahead of yourself. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, all in the same space, and then back to putting a double crochet in each stitch except for the last one I'll meet you there all right we're at our last stitch we're ready to do two double crochets and a triple crochet all into this same stitch and I really take my time with this one because again Especially with this yarn, it's kind of fiddly, and even with me changing hooks, it's kind of hard to get. Make sure that that yarn goes under both those lips. All right. And that is the end. Six. Um, so I feel like doing three rows is a good number. Uh, I know it doesn't feel like a lot right now, um, but later on when we, I mean, I'm already having to crochet off camera so that you don't have a long, boring video. Um, but you can see this is going to grow quite quickly. So it's going to take longer and longer to finish the rows. So trust me, you will thank me when I only do three rows per a video. Um, and, and Patricia from Yarny Crack Crochet called it like, compared it to doing the weekly uh, crossword puzzle. And I really liked that. You know, spend about 15 minutes a day working on it, and you can get it done. All right, so um, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on the Oolong Tea Shawl by Red Teapot Atlee. Join us next week for rows 7, 8, and 9. Until then, my merrymakers, make what makes you merry. Ciao.